Hi, I'm George Poveromo, saltwater angler and member of Team Simrad, and here's a tip on how I use my Simrad electronics to identify fish. Identifying specific species requires the knowledge of those associated within a local environment and a quality sonar and transducer. My Simrad EVO 3 units, for example, utilize dual frequency chirp enhanced transducers. Chirp producers broadcast three independent sonar signals versus a single signal from standard transducers. This results in greater target separation, meaning the bottom and fish appear in much greater detail. In this Gulf of Mexico wreck image, for example, the masses of fish tied to the structure are primarily mangrove snapper, whereas the large elongated boomerang to the left is a bull shark. The two compact marks above the bull shark are likely cobia as they commonly hang together around wrecks. We caught all these species on this particular structure. When mutton snappers spawn, they often stack in a Christmas tree-like fashion, as is evident in the screenshot of a Gulf of Mexico rock pile. And to lend an idea of how solidly mangrove snapper gather for spawning, this screenshot identified them as a false bottom at 28.5 feet. We were actually in 60 feet of water, and yes, we limited out in fast order. A quality sonar also shows big fish being played up through the water column. One of our anglers, tiring a bit, was looking for words of encouragement on a fish he hooked 400 feet down. I glanced at my Simrad and told her the fish was only 50 feet beneath the boat and to keep cranking. In reality, it was around a 200 foot mark. She did prevail, landing in an impressive 30 pound Almaco Jack. 